Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year. I know it's pretty late and I just wanted to get that out of the way since it's been weeks since I uploaded a video. I hope that your year is going well. And if you're a new subscriber, hi, welcome to Brandy's Beauty Addiction. And make sure you like this video. And if you like what you see, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Today's video, I am doing a UFO theme Manny. Now let's start this video. I will be using Moonchild from my brand, Brandy Loves Beauty, and I'll be using UFO from Nellie Bell's Nails, and I'll be using the dip base from 10X Tina. I decided to start this Manny off with glitter, and I am doing two dips of UFO. I have no idea what type of glitters are in this dip powder, so I am gonna describe what I see. I'm going to say that this dip powder is green hollow glitter with small circular chunky glitter in it with, I'm going to say maybe a square or diamond shapes in here. It doesn't matter. This dip powder is beautiful. And y'all know how I feel about working with like chunky or irregular shaped glitter. And when I did the first dip, I was amazed that it wasn't like, bulky so I ended up doing a second dip and it still wasn't bulky so this is like pretty good to like work with if you're ever hesitant about working with chunky glitter and I'm just patting it down to make sure that the irregular shaped glitter doesn't like poke up when I put on the clear and I'm gonna take a break Before I move on to Moonchild, I am going to do one dip of clear to encapsulate UFO and then I am going to be back. I decided that I am going to do decals later, so I just grabbed Moonchild and I am doing three dips. If you haven't checked out my previous videos, I created Moonchild to celebrate my birthday in July and it does glow. And this dip powder is more of a sheer white and I added some flakies to it. Y'all know that I love to wear pill base. When I started my current job, I learned that two dips was not cutting it for me. So I did an experiment by doing three dips to see what would happen. And my mani seemed to last a little bit longer. My nails will start to pop off on day three or four, which is nice. That'll give me more time at the end of the week to do my nails. And I'm going to take a break. A second dip and I decided to keep the nose because I don't feel like dealing with builder gel or putting on tips because that is pretty time consuming for me and plus if I were to put on tips or deal with builder gel I'll still have to like maintenance it and that does take a little bit more time so I decided to just deal with my nails how they are and then my pointer finger is pretty chipped I could have just grabbed some builder gel and try to fix it but I wasn't having none of it I'm just gonna let my nails like grow out and see what happens and I'm gonna go on break done dipping into Moonchild so now I am doing a dip of clear to encapsulate it because I want to protect the flakies when I 
file and buff and I'm gonna come back I am using dip cure from 10x Tina I am gonna do two coats and I'm gonna file and buff off camera The water slide decals are from Glam Nails and Decals. Right now, their shop is on break on SD, so I have no idea when they're going to return. And I don't remember the name of the decal sheets. I'm sure if you search like Alien on their SD page when they open up, I'm sure they're going to pop up. And I think I left the little alien dude in the water for about like five seconds. And then I am going to remove it off the paper and then slap it on my nail. And I am going to, well, actually, I dipped my middle finger, but I decided to do the ring finger. So I put the ring finger in the water to like help it adhere better. And I am going to go on a short break. I forgot to apply the decals before the clear, so I am going to encapsulate it with builder gel to help the decals last longer, and I am going to be right back. I am using a gel base coat from Sean Dalen Bonnet, and I am doing one coat so the builder gel could have something to adhere to. And I am just going to cure it for 60 seconds and I'll be back. I am using a builder gel from the Kira Sky Jelly Tip System. And I am making sure that the coats are super thin because the builder gel it has like a thicker consistency compared to gel top coat and base coat, but I want to make sure that it is pretty thin because I'm only using the product to encapsulate the decals because like I mentioned before, usually I like to apply the decals and then put the clear dip powder on top of it to encapsulate it. And I am going to cure this for 60 seconds and I'll be back. I am done carrying the Builder Gel, so I am using the Gelish Nail Surface Cleanse to wipe off the tacky layer, and I'm going to come back. I am using a gel base coat for the rest of the nails. So for the thumb, I am going to flash cure it for 30 seconds, and then the rest of the nails are going to be cured for 60 seconds, and I'm going to come back to do the top coat. I am using a no wipe gel top coat from Sean Dalen Bonnet, and I am just doing one coat. Of course, I'm going to flash cure my thumb for 30 seconds and then cure the rest of the nails for one minute and 20 seconds, and then I'm going to come back. Snickerdoodle cuticle oil from Manny B. And I would like to thank y'all so much for taking time out of your day to view this video. Hit that subscribe button if you're loving this UFO theme Manny. And don't forget to hit that little bell because it'll notify you when I upload a video.